Hello out there, everybody that's on Facebook right now. It's Angie with Heart Wellness Coaching, and I'm coming to you live on Motivational Monday. And I, uh, I had, I had something I wanted to share today. I, I had a concept that sort of came to me as I was going to sleep last night um, about this idea about commitment. So. Um, for those of you who follow me, you might have seen that this past weekend I was out um, doing some uh, rock climbing and trail running with friends, and I um, on Monday I got onto the sharp end of the rope, so they say where you're the one leading the rope up the wall, and um, there's a whole different headspace that comes um, from being in that position. So again, um, it's Motivational Monday and I'm just gonna, I just wanna share this idea of commitment um, with you. And so if you're catching me live, say hello. And if you're catching the replay, type in replay so I can uh, reach out to you later. So anyway, this idea of commitment came to me as I was thinking about uh, my day yesterday, rock climbing and being on the sharp end of the rope. When you're, when you're leading the rope up the wall, of course, you know, you're clipping in at various points along the wall, but there's always a distance between those bolts and whatever distance you get above the last bolt, if you fall, you fall that, that distance times two because you, you fall the length of the rope that's out and then you fall below that point of the last bolt. So um, when you are rock climbing and you are leading the rope up the wall, there is a point which, at which you are making a commitment. You are committed to that move. Once you have started to make that climb above the last bolt, you're kind of committed to making that move. It's very difficult to down climb. And so I was thinking about this idea of, of committing, you know, you committing to an idea, committing to yourself. And as a wellness coach, so much of what I do is help people make transitional transformative changes over the course of a period of time that will bring them to a better place in their health and bring them ideally to their best self. And there's there's really no way to do that, to, to be a part of a three-month program or whatever package someone chooses with me if they're not committed. And, um, and, and that, that can come into question multiple times throughout a person's program with me. They might jump in, you know, with two feet and just be super excited and ready to go and ready to improve their health or lose weight or whatever it is. Um, but when they get up against some difficult choices, when they get up against um, cravings, when they get up against hunger, when they get up against emotional triggers, they might question that. They might question, why am I doing this? This is hard. And that, you know, when, when you're climbing, there are hard moments and you have to stay committed. You know, you're in it, you're committed and you, you can't turn back. You can't, um, um, abandoned, abandon what you're doing because it gets hard. And so I think, you know, commitment is, there's just so much of a, um, carryover between commitment in, in climbing and commitment in wellness and, and moving along that wellness journey. And I just thought it was really interesting to share those um, parallels. So if you are on a wellness journey, I encourage you to reaffirm your commitment. So just remember every morning your commitment to yourself. Get up in the morning and ask yourself, how can I show up for myself today? Even though it might be hard, even though it might be so much easier to choose the fast food on the way home or to you know eat the the food that the that the rep brought at lunch for lunch today even though that might be the easier thing how do i want to show up for myself what is going to serve me best even though it might be the harder way to go what is my future self going to thank me for what am i what is keeping me on this journey toward health and toward wellness versus what's going to put me back on a path towards disease toward illness, toward just not feeling good at all, or to weight gain, and just be reaffirming every, every morning and throughout the day, every time we make a decision, what am I committing to? Am I committing to my future self and their, their betterment? That's the question that we need to ask. So even though it's hard, even though it's scary, we need to remember that commitment that we make to ourselves 
And that is what I'm leaving you with today on Motivational Monday. I hope it's a helpful message to you. It's it definitely been a great um, carryover lesson for me as I go about my week. It's not always easy for me to make the healthy choice. And when I think about um, that commitment, it definitely makes it easier to do the right thing. So happy Monday. Have a wonderful week, everybody. As, as always, if you have any health or wellness questions, feel free to reach out. I would love to help you. Bye-bye.